kind of know when you're in love. For me, I knew I was in love when, like, even niggas that I would find attractive didn't phase me anymore. Like, for instance, That's like, good. if a nigga would talk to me and I know he fine, but I didn't feel nothing, like, ooh, damn, this nigga fine. Ooh, like, ooh, damn, I want to get enough. And I was like, damn, this nigga really got me in a chokehold because all I could think about was him. Like, I didn't give no fucks. To me, my man is the best looking man in this world, and I don't give no fucks. Period. Chris Brown can walk in this room and <laughs> I'm a fool. <laughs> Just for that night, though. <laughs> I'ma fold for the money, babe. For the money. I'ma get, I'm get his money. For the money. That's it. I love it. I'm not gonna oh. fall under the influence. Fuck a rubber it. <laughs> I, I don't know. I've only ever been in love once, and it was fake. So. Well, no, 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 no. It wasn't fake. I How was... did you know he was in love? Mm. Cause. I didn't want, I guess it's like lucky with you, I didn't, I didn't want, want talk, nobody else. I like, didn't want to talk to other people like, mm -hmm. yo, I was like seven, I, um, I was 18. And it, when you 18, you, you supposed to be out there, but y'all, I wasn't, I was stuck on him real bad. Real bad. <laughs> real bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she said, we go together, real bad. <laughs> we go together now? Real bad. <laughs> that question. was me. Next question. Do men deserve to be showered with gifts and relationships? Yes. I feel like a relationship, I don't even feel like a relationship is 50 50. We're going to get 200% because you can give 100% and I'm going to get 100%. Men should get the same shit that women get. Like, Valentine's Day is just not all about women. I'm going to get my niggas some shit too. But honestly, I don't even celebrate Valentine's Day, day like that because <sighs> Valentine's Day is every day. <laughs> but do you, okay, so do you feel like, okay, so since Valentine's Day is every day, do you feel like, on Valentine's Day, it should be like an extra mile, like a decoration. I don't feel like it should a, be, well, a balloons or something, a bear. I really think it depends on the man that you with because I ain't gonna lie, my baby is, he not the real romantic Yeah, type. the per he not really uh, the most. Somebody I know don't do that either. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. Nate. <laughs> uh, he not really the romantic type, he not into that romance. Like he can be sweet and nice, but that, let me decorate the room, mm -hmm. let me put some rose petals down. My, my baby ain't got no patience for that. But I feel like, I feel like the time that he, I do accept that because I know for a fact that the time he will go out is gonna be when he propose. I know that he will go all out for that because he talks about it sometimes. So I know he will go all out for that. Save that energy. Yeah, save that energy. Because <laughs> I want you to compile it all to my proposal and my um my win. That's how I know I still got some growing to do because um, I don't. I want to say it, but I can't say that. I mean, Valentine's Day might not be for everybody because maybe they ain't celebrated Valentine's Day before or they, or they, they like, mm, yeah, that's true. Because he'd be like, oh, like, he's not romantic. Well, he's romantic, but it's not in, like, I guess the traditional way. I'm not gonna lie. At, at this day, age, and time, I'm too grown to spend money on gifts that you don't like. So I'm gonna I'm talk to you about it before. Hey, if I already expect you to do something, I'm gonna tell you. Like, Valentine's Day coming up, I'm, um, yeah, you need to mm -hmm. get right. But if I don't really want that, I'll tell you, you know, we can just chill, we can watch a movie, I can cook, you know, some shit like that. You know? Yeah. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Mm-hmm. Why okay. is having a nine to five considered lame? First of all, okay. No, I actually unfollowed somebody that I know because he posted on his Instagram story and was like, why is why is y'all why are we so grown and still working at McDonald's? Bitch, you ain't got no job. You, the streets is your job. What are you talking about? I feel like any job, as long as you have a, like, as long as you income, working, what are you talking about? That's all that matters. They, and people be sitting there talking shit like, oh, you work at McDonald's, you work at Big King. Bitch, you in my line. Like, if I didn't work here, who the fuck was going to get your food? Who's going to get this McDouble? This Baconator? Who's going to get all that stuff for you? You can come in there and treat yourself? That's the case. You could took your ass home. I don't like that. Like, I, my job I is a job. So quick because first of all, sweetie, you don't even have a job. Your job is selling the weed. Now I ain't gonna lie. That's a job, but that's like up and down. That's like, yeah, true. But I will all say, the time stable. I will say somebody that just settles for that shit. Like, okay, I want to work at McDonald's all my life. Okay, yeah. That's a little weird to me because I mean, I feel like in our day, age, and time, there's too much more out there to explore for you to say that you're gonna be stuck at a fast food restaurant. Yeah. Like, at least go out and try some other things because if your resume only consists of McDonald's, the only thing you're gonna probably be is a manager, a shift lead. I don't know if you ever 
never gonna own it. But I mean, if you wanna do that, then you do that. But get your money, get your money, you know? But baby, if your bills ain't matching that McDonald's pay, then you need to move on. Oh yeah, let's Living outside they means like trying to live like where they know they can't just for like social media. Baby talk. <laughs> like <laughs> Trying to put on a I can't say that. They were remedial. You're remedial. You putting on a show for people that don't know you. I don't know. Say it again. You putting on say a show for people that don't know fuck? you. Like, we would never know who you are outside of your Instagram and stuff. And I ain't even gonna lie. Most times, I'll be like, this bitch lying. Because <laughs> ain't no way. Like, ooh, boy. Social media is nothing to sit there and. What you, who you trying to impress? Who you trying to impress? Girl, I shop at Sheen, Ross, Target. Yeah, I Pretty like. Little thing. I like Clarence. Me and Clarence. Walmart, got a good bitch. Walmart. Me and Clarence got a good relationship. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. my best friend. I'm telling you. I go to the sale section first. No, buy one, <laughs> get one free. What the hell wrong with you? I buy like one, get one fifty percent off. <laughs> Thank you. I like discounts. Man, call me cheap. I don't give a damn. And to my DH gay people, teach me, teach me, cause I'm yeah. Teach me, teach me. Cause all the people out there, y'all rapping these fake shoes. Bitch, cause I'm not about to pay 300 to 400 fucking dollars. And they look the exact same. No, that's okay. I can save that to go towards my car. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fuck wrong child. People be having their priorities fucked up. That's why y'all be having four kids in that one bedroom fucking apartment. While that popcorn on the floor and syrup and shit on the carpet and stuff. <laughs> about to get fucking evicted. Cause you wanna, and, and then you taking pictures on Instagram with Louis Vuitton. Like, girl, your kids hungry. They sharing a Happy Meal. You out here looking like a snack, and they looking like crumbs. What's wrong with you? <laughs> what is wrong with you? Period. They look like crumbs, bitch. Oh, uh, crumbs. Um, no crumbs from the Cookie Monster. Mm-hmm. Yum, 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 yum. Outgrowing friends around you without beef. Okay. I've done that. I've done that. How many people I used to talk to in college? I follow the bitches on Facebook and I <laughs> the only one I talk to that I know from college. That one that I met in college. I feel like some people just outgrow you. I mean, because I feel like in college you around that person all the time. I have no choice but to see you every day. Right. I'm speaking to you. And then when you leave. Then when you mm -hmm. leave, it's like everybody that's don't. gonna show you the true definition of who the fuck really fuck with you and who don't. But everybody some people don't just, live in the same state. Yeah, some people just outgrow each other. And then at the same time it's like we may not speak on a day-to-day -day basis, but I can see you and we can still just kick it like we like we still in college, you know? Right. Like, I'll talk to Anaya every day and she lives in <laughs> Jersey. Mm -hmm. But that's my bitch. So when we talk, it ain't it, we don't skip a beat. Right. It's the same shit. So ain't nothing wrong with outgrowing people. I have a friend. She was my best friend. I don't call her my best friend no more. No, not really, because you know, she right here. But like, we don't kick it like we used to but that's still my bitch you know at the end of the day that's still my bitch i'm still there for you mm -hmm. call me I'm, I'm right here you know type stuff yeah i do not like them bitches excuse me i'm saying that a lot i do not like those females that feel like i gotta talk to you 24 7. if i haven't talked to you all day then Ugh. we're not me and I I talk like, like every two weeks. I got a lie. We, we talk like every two weeks, but then when we do talk, it's just like, oh, bitch, let me tell you what happened yeah. seven days ago. Like, yeah, like, because we got a life. Like, people got a life. We're grown now. It's not like, when we was in college, we didn't really have, like, no worries. We could just do it. But now we, I got her own place. We both got bills. Like, it's just like, we grown. I am now. I'm about to make one of them things they call it. Go for me. I'm going to make a girl. <laughs> I need Please help. Help me. He needs a bill. 1 800. Help me. <laughs> True. Oh Damn. my God. No, yes. I understand because I had a best friend and we was best friends since fifth grade. And then I had moved here. Well, not here. I moved to Georgia and she would start coming from my hometown to Georgia for Thanksgiving. And then one time she came here and that's when i was in college so she came here and then they drove me back to school and then her and my mom went back to georgia and she called a flight back home y'all i, n I <clears throat> never talked to her after that like i told her i was like uh let me know when you land I, she, we never talked like she never told me when she landed she i still like y'all <laughs> she plane ain't never landed <laughs> what's that show called um, manifest <laughs> Oh, she, she, yo, man, Oh, Lord Jesus. I'm like, damn. But then I obviously.
actually wish you landed because we follow each other on social media. Okay, like two weeks later, I was just like, why you say, never say nothing? And I know. Oh, I'm about to say, I'll be that. Girl. I don't know what happened. It's not like we had no beef because we was cool, but I just we just went our separate ways. Uh -huh. That's my dog since fifth grade. But it's like hey. that should, but low key, that don't be hurting because it's like, damn, I really want to be friends with you forever. Like, yeah. I had an elementary school friend. I said, I follow her on Facebook and stuff. I just knew that I was gonna be my best bitch for like, but it's like the moment we went separate ways, we did not talk. Man, it's okay. Mm -hmm. I feel like long, well not long distance, but old relationships bring in new ones, so like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. sometimes, you know, it's time for them. Some people are made for a season, and they leave for a reason. Hey, shut up! Okay, what else questions about here? To your paradise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When last time I ate crunchy much? Y'all, I haven't had that since my grandma was alive. That was in 2012. Because <laughs> I don't eat that my grandma. Y'all, crunchy much buzzing. And I. Okay. Is social media ruin ruining humanity? Okay. And I see a lot of people say this. I see a lot of people that be like need to clear my mental getting off of social media for a while. Yes, we don't care. We my don't thing care. is like you're in control of your mental. So if you allow social media to dictate what you do or how you feel, then that's on you. I don't feel like social media is ruining humanity. I feel like the only thing that can ruin humanity is us. If you get on social media, for instance, I'm a big girl, okay? All I see is skinny bitches on, on fucking social media. That's all I see. Skinny bitches this, skinny bitches that, big booty this. I got the flattest ass you probably ever seen. Flatter than this countertop. <laughs> but bitch, I'm the most confident sometimes. I'm the most confident bitch that you will ever mm. meet. Okay? You can't tell me I ain't Beyonce. I don't give a damn. So, I don't feel like social media is ruining humanity. I feel like what you allow social media to do will ruin humanity. Because why is you taking social media that serious? Like, it's not that serious. It's social media. That is true. That's why I just, I feel like social media is only good for two things, networking and entertainment. I'm about like to people, entertainment. People take it too, too far, far. Like, so Why y'all beefing on social media? So say I didn't know Zakaya and I, we only follow each other on social media. Bitch, I don't know what's going on behind her, at, at her house. I don't know her. I just know what you post and y'all, I'm not gonna cap. Let me tell you something. Nobody posting a bad shit on like Nobody. their main page, they might be posting their close friends if they know them people, but it's still then all your close friends. I feel like you glorifying it more than what it is. Like you, you making it seem not people, as bad. But people gonna bad. show like they goods, but they ain't gonna show what it took to get to this. Like they not gonna show that at all. That's true. And I let me tell you something. For all you mother lovers who ain't no vlogger, or none of that, stop posting your everyday today posts. And your everyday today thing. Ooh. I don't care that you went to Starbucks. <laughs> I don't care that after you turn left, you stopped at a light. I don't care that you like pumpkin spice. I don't care that fucking Starbucks ran out of white mocha. I don't care about none of that stuff. Why we need all that? Every move you make, we need to know. Mm -hmm. Stop that. That's weird. And if you're not a vlogger, that's normal for a vlogger. Because we're watching that because we want to see it. But those normal everyday people that's just on Facebook, we don't care. The last one we talk about today or well, tonight. When a man cheats, is it really just sex? Do you think it's mm -hmm. really just sex? Mm -hmm. So what about when a woman cheats? Do you think it's just sex, or mm -hmm. do you think it's mm -mm. more than that? Mm -mm. Get somebody else to do it. Mm -mm. Get somebody else to do it. Oh, it's for our day. Let me tell you. And me and my boyfriend talk about this all the time. Ooh, fuck. Men think with their head, they and did. women think with their head. Mm -hmm. When a man cheats, it's because he wants some kind of pleasure. He just fucking. Mm -hmm. And that's why when they cheat, they feel like it's not that serious because I don't got no feelings or nothing. But I don't cry, I knock you But up. when it comes to us, we're just a little bit more smart. I ain't even gonna lie to you. More than likely, we're cheating. I can hide it very well. I'm not gonna lie. More than likely, we're cheating because there's something that you're missing. So we're cheating. We've updated mm -hmm. our man. He got more money. 
He, he, he looked better he probably. Is, he is packing something in your life. Yeah. And he's not just like sexual. Men, that's why men be so mad when women cheat because it's like, like bitch, you, you really probably like got him. your feelings really yeah, involved really in this man. Like, like him. I yeah. fucked this bitch and it's over. I don't give a fuck about her. Mm -hmm. But now, like, you really into this nigga. My thing is, stop. why do y'all cheat? What's the point of cheating? Like, if you want to get out of that relationship, get out of that relationship. But I tell my boyfriend all the time, you, if you feel like you bored, tired, mad, irritated, tell me first. Don't have me out here looking like boo-boo the fool. Break up with me. Let's call, let's call a male and ask why do they cheat. He about to be like, what? Men don't like talking about that either. Yeah, he gonna be like, what are you talking about? And I'm gonna hang up. <laughs> Cause he gonna blow me. See? Hello. Hey, What's up, bro? I got a question. No, my God. What? You don't even know what I'm about to say. It's about to be all the It's not. It's actually just a regular question. So, from your perspective as a man, why do, why do you think men cheat? You said what? Why do you think me and cheat? <laughs> I don't know. Bruh. What do you mean? Sound. Why don't you? You don't. I don't cheat. Black men don't cheat. Huh? That's yeah. Okay. <coughs> I don't cheat. Okay, well just give like a guess. I said, why do you think? I didn't say you cheat. Oh, that shit. Bruh, as a male, pussy is stoned at you every day. It's hard to fight that temptation. <laughs> He's even, so serious too. Even if you have a girlfriend. I, I got a girlfriend, boom. Even so being sorry, I'm gonna be decent at the moment. I could be mad and be like, man, you know what, whatever, whatever. I go out, get some rights, and I get the feeling tight weight and a little bit just calm. So it's like, she being sorry mad at each other right now. She ain't gonna know if I cheat type shit. So I do it at that moment. So most things you probably do it out of anger. Probably just do it out of boredom. Like, ain't no real reason why you cheat. Cheating is never okay. I mean, it's never okay. But if you think you can cheat and get away with it, you're going to try to go. Mm, I feel like some men cheat because they're bored. Like, yeah. married men love single fucking women. And I don't get it. You married. I know a man right now, married as fuck, but he'll flirt. Like, there's no fucking tomorrow. I don't think nothing wrong with flirting. You don't think nothing wrong with flirting. Flirting can lead to cheating. We know you will. We know you will. We know you will. I feel like there's a certain extent that you should stop the flirting. Like, if it, if, if the bitch feel like she can start touching on you and doing extra shit, mm -hmm. it's time for you to be like, all right, bitch, you're getting a little too friendly. Chill out. Okay, well, then that's your fault, though, because you started the flirting. But you say you think flirting is okay. Okay, yes. So if, right. if your nigga was flirting with another bitch. Not in front, don't do it in front of you. Not in front of you, okay, not in front of you, but say like your friend see it. Like, okay, your nigga was out here just flirting. Oh, with bitch, my bitch, friend better like, go jack that nigga up. You said ain't nothing wrong with flirting. No. <laughs> <laughs> your friend need to buy the ball for you. <laughs> no, my friend need to go jack that nigga up and be like, oh, ain't you such and such boyfriend? You gonna be a like, where your girl at? Where your girl at? At home, excuse me. <laughs> how you that? How you that? <laughs> no, because why are you flirting? If you're, okay, you're flirting not okay. Nigga, no, where your clothes at? C, 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 C. C, C, B, B, D, D. What? Nigga like me, I flirt to see if I still got it. Okay, now, my boyfriend said that too. Most I, I men flirt to see if they still have it. I had these streets if it came down. But, okay, but wait, why can't you just... What you need to know if you still why, got it? Why can't you just flirt with your girlfriend? That's how you can see if you got it. Like, you what? know you still got it, she's still with you. Wow. I'm a flirt fuck. I got her already. That, the stuff you were doing to get her, that's what you were to keep doing. Oh, yeah, exactly. No, no, Men get no. comfortable and then they just feel like they can start acting like Ronald McDonald. So y'all, unfortunately I did not film my outro for this video because this segment was from the Myrtle Beach traveling vlog. But I just decided to make it its own video. But if y'all want us to talk about more things, drop down in the comments below what y'all want us to talk about. You can send us stories, situations, anything, topics, all of that. But yeah.